those of you reading the article looking for a little more information, this video should help by giving you some live footage or some actual footage of the thing. If you're watching this video on YouTube, it's going to be missing a whole lot and not make a lot of sense. This is for the article over on gbgunsdepot.com. Check the video description and pinned comment for that article. Here we go. Welcome to Bursas. Coming up next on GB Guns. We'll start off with the Thunder 380s series, since this is probably the gun that most people have heard of or think of when they think Bursa. It's largely in part because it's very similar to the Walther PBKS in design and features, but at about a third of the price. These are all 380 guns, and as mentioned in the article, there are some idiosyncrasies just as part of the requirements for importation. That being that they have a magazine disconnect safety and a key lock safety there. If you don't like that, then don't use it. That's how I've gotten by it. Um, the single action on them is nice and crisp, and your reset decent. Double action pull is very smooth. In fact, the double action on these things feels about like the single action does on most guns. It's just longer. Magazine release is up top and they are single stack mags. Field stripping is very PPK-esque-ish in that you've got to pull the slide up and over off the back of the gun. There is a tab here that's got to be rotated downward. And it comes off like that. Nice thing about these springs not being captured is if you want to tune them, for example, if you have one of the threaded barrel models um, for running a suppressor, you can get a heavier power spring and easily do an upgrade there, which is something that I would recommend doing. Having shot uh, our threaded model version with the suppressor on it, the recoil can be a bit snappy at that point. But starting in the low 200s, you've got a pretty nice Decently sized single stack 380 that is not quite a pocket gun, but pocket carryable because it can be decocked, um, reliable, and comfortable enough to shoot on the range. Stepping up from there, this is actually a TPR model, but there is a Thunder 380 Plus. This TPR model took the uh, TPR lines, we'll get to that series later, and moved the magazine release down here but it's double stack, and that's why I like the plus. 15 rounds of 380, and these have a nice wraparound grip that adds nice texture. We've done an article on those as well. Next in line, and perhaps out of fashion at the moment, but not out of functionality, are the BP line. These are single stacks, nine and 380. The 380s seem to be harder to find, as you see in the article. I could only find one spot that had them, and they were asking a lot more money than the 9mm version. But they're a single stack with Ambi magazine release, which I like. And very nice shooters. The triggers on these things, oops, gotta leave that mag in, is pretty nuts. Watch this travel. Light to a wall, break. Very quick reset that takes you right back to the wall. In a video we did a few years ago, I was able to empty this to 8 plus 1 capacity in about a second and a half uh, because that trigger reset was so nice. If you want to upgrade the sights from the three dot whites on the uh, BP series, it's a SIG number 8 front sight post and Glock cut for the rear. But uh, very slim, one of my favorites of the single stack 9s. I love this texturing up here. Great spot to rest the index finger when not shooting and a great spot to apply some traction. You can see it even there's a little bit of a divot there to really hold on with, with your support thumb, which is also part of how we're able to shoot these things so accurately, so quickly. Serrations on the rear are smart and really work without cutting your hand, and it's a very slim grip. Nice shooting pistol. And perhaps my favorite out of the group is the TPR series. There's those slide cuts that I mentioned when showing you the TPR 380 Plus. These are double action, single action, aluminum framed with decocker and safety, ambidextrous slide lock and release, and a reversible magazine release. TPR9C gives you 13 plus one rounds in a compact package. Controls work on both sides. This decocks it, and if left up, serves as a safety. 
bring it down for a very smooth, consistent double action. Reset is also short, single action, nice and crisp. So there's your double action. Very short, but definitive uh, reset and a nice single action. Single action from scratch, come back to a wall and break, very nice. Also have texture points up here and rail, texture for index finger and for the thumb. Not as effective as it is on the BP series, but still very nice. There are a bit of a broad gun. This is 13 rounds in the compact and you get 17 plus one. Oh, I've got the mag out. This is our bedside gun. That's why it's already set up. Um, 17 rounds in the full size and that nice longer barrel. Sights on these are SIG number eights. And as you can see, and we mentioned in the video, we've swapped to night vision sights on this so that we've got night sights at night and a nice bright orange dot up front. You can choose different colors uh, through night vision, but um, very, very nice pistols, very affordably priced. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of a better look. We have some older complete reviews on all of these guns on the channel, and it's probably time we revisited some of these let us know in the comments, uh, either here or over on the article at gbgunsdepot.com, which one you want to see us revisit. And whatever gets the most votes, we'll take out and do a full refresh review on. Some of these we reviewed four, almost five years ago. Some of them a little more recently. That covers the Bursa line. Hopefully gives you a concept of what these things are like. Beyond what's in the article already and already over on our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.